Hello, hi, my name is Rekant. In today's session, we're going to talk about generic OData service integration in Datasphere. By using this connection, we can integrate with a generic OData service API and read the objects information and replicate the data into Datasphere tables. In this demo session, we're going to read the Northwind OData service API and extract the data from those objects into Datasphere tables. This Northwind um, service API is a test one, so you can use it, no authentication required. It's publicly available, so you can use it without any authentications. Let's create a connection and access this uh, OData service API. So I'm going to go to the Datasphere and then start creating a new connection, create connection, and then choose generic data service API. You can look for that, here you find it, and then the URL is going to be your service URL, which I can get it from this place. Copy it, copy this over to the data sphere. And that's it. Um, I'm not using Cloud Connector, so it's false. Um, V4 is the OData service API that I'm going to uh, use, and then authentication type. I'm going to choose no authentication. If you have a service API that requires OAuth authentication, you know, two-layer two or three-layer approach that you can follow. But right now, in this example, I'm choosing no authentication. So only remote tables and data flows are enabled uh, uh, and supported. Uh, replication flows are not supported. That's all the configuration that I required. And next, and then and just give the next step. Give a business name. I can say Northwind OData API. Um, that's it, create connection. My connection has been created, so I can uh, create a data flow to read the data from this service API. Before I read those objects, I wanted to show the API in, in my Postman. So this is my Northwind OData service API. I can have several um, get methods to read the data. For example, if I wanted to check the uh, orders in this API, so I'm going to just say um, get method to read the orders. The response is going to be all the orders uh, that are part of this particular service API. So similarly, I can read the customer list and etc. So the API test is good. Um, I am able to read the uh, request and response, get the response back from the service API with no authentication required. You can see uh, authorization is is not required, I can just no auth. And then I go back to my data sphere and read the data from the service API. I access my data builder, and from there I can create a new data flow. And in the data flow, I'm choosing sources and then open the connections, and I have my connections shown here uh, for Northwind or data API, and I can see all the objects that are part of that service API. Uh, customers, invoices, orders, and etc. So if I wanted to process orders into Datasphere, drag this to the Dataflow canvas, and then choose another projection here to process the data further or filter. Uh, I can put a template as a target and then complete this data flow creation, but I'm not really going to uh, go and create the data flow. For this one, instead, I just wanted to show you whether I have got the right data from orders um, object in the service API. Here I can see uh, order data set is being read properly from the service API in Datasphere. That's pretty much uh, about connecting uh, the OData service API, generic OData service API uh, in Datasphere. Thank you very much. Uh, for detailed training on Datasphere, please reach me out at sorompalis at gmail.com. Thank you. Bye for now.